Well guys, just another heads up, we have just had a 7.6 off the coast of Chile once again and it has pretty much not stopped since the 8.2 earthquake. Now, there have been two significant quakes and it includes the 7.6 since that 8.2. However, if you go over to this list, you can see that it has not stopped. We've got a 5.8, a 4.9, a 5.1, a 5.6. All of these have occurred since that 7.6. It is not stopping over off the coast of Chile. Whatever's going on over there is not stopping. And I did see some information with some seismologists saying that this 8.2 is not the large quake that they are expecting. They are actually expecting something even larger. So I think that this is quite significant that we see this area has become very active. And think of Yellowstone biggest quake in 30 years. Again, starting to become active. Then we have the volcano going off in Peru yesterday for the first time in 40 years or 30 years, you know? All of these events are connected and they're all connected to the sun. And so I really would rather people keep away from the harp information if they are going to be posting in my group or on my videos because really I'm not interested in the psyop that they've given you with harp and anyone out there that's pushing the harp okay because I've done this since 2011 and I've investigated harp and I've investigated the sun and it's the sun okay it's not harp and there is no information to show other than someone's speculation that they can give you no absolute solid evidence other than, yes, they think it could be HARP. Because HARP is patented to do these things. I mean, seriously, not interested. Not saying that they're not using some types of uh, weather systems against us when they can, but they are not creating 8.2 fucking earthquakes okay look at the data it's the sun you know just before the huge quake that took out fukushima guess what happened the day before wow that would be an x flare so people need to start really as i've said coming to the top of the pond because really i thought i'd pretty much dealt with the heart stuff by 2013 but it seems that i still get people commenting with harp I'm really not interested, okay? If you do want to follow that information, you have free will to do so. Please don't bring it onto my channel. That's all I'm asking. So, for everybody else that's paying attention to the actual information and what the data is showing us, we can see that there's a definite correlation between what the sun's doing. And we can also see that the electrons are still getting very funky, have not stopped. And this is the type of different energy that we are seeing and the way it's playing out also being reflected down here in the way that the energy is moving through our planet and why the tectonic plates are shifting, why the volcanoes are occurring. Things are being stirred up within our planet on an electrical level, she's basically being juiced up, okay, electrically, and we are electric beings that feel it. And this is why we're seeing it, you know, play out in politically, you know, political stuff. You watch, in the next couple of days, there's going to be some really insane shit happening. And we can all see that it is starting to get more insane every day. And it's really starting to, it seems like, accelerate with the amount of events that are happening, like cause and effect are happening closer together. And that's what 
will end up continuing to the point where people just can't keep up with cause and effect anymore and they fucking flip their lids. So expect that. And expect that too from all of this energy that's coming in uh, to us from Mother Earth. You know, people just get flipped out because it's just too much, you know. And um, some of them just can't handle it. And that's why we see some really fucking weird shit going on sometimes with people doing really unusual things and all plays out around these events where we get these surges of energy. I mean, you know, if you're paying attention to everything happening on each of the causal planes, you can understand that you have to account for them all and look at them all with that perspective. You know, we have to understand. I mean, if we're not going to acknowledge that we live on multiple levels and multiple planes, then we're never going to actually be able to see it and observe it. And this is why you'll see many of these philosophers, you know, uh, Roald Dahl was one of them that says, you know, people that cannot see magic will never see magic. I mean, you have to believe in it and be open to actually acknowledging that other level before you'll ever see it. And if you shut it out completely to only go with the physical observations that you make in your environment, you are shutting off a whole other side of information that you can be picking up on, which is why then you can understand when they're putting out disinfo and you can pick up on those kind of things because you're reading everything on all the levels. You're not just relying on the only level they've ever given you, which is the physical. So people really have to start viewing everything with a larger picture, seeing when things occur and then other things occur afterwards, seeing the connections to that because everything's connected and it's all this cause and effect that's playing out. And so we are as above, so below. I mean, I see people always like to say that. You know, it's the most overused, um, you know, part of, hermetic philosophy and most people have no clue what it really means when they actually state as above so below because if they really understood the full extent of what that means to you as a soul as a being in creation you would understand how everything that's playing out right now is all connected to larger cycles bigger events that we do not understand because we are still very insular in our understanding of where we are within creation and the universe because they've not allowed us to move outside of this little box. So that's what we've got to learn to do. Move outside of the box, look at the data, read the data, see how it's translating to us and see that pattern that we've been recording and not just me, there's other channels that have seen this same, um, you know, type of behavior between the energy exchange of our sun and our planet and they're not just hanging off the teat of nasa and what nasa says because nasa's not adding up because we're supposed to get this cme this three three cmes are supposed to be heading for us once again uh tony phillips has said that it's going to deliver us a glancing blow sometime today on the 2nd of April, which is in the Northern Hemisphere, we're now into the 3rd of April, can't see any glancing blow, but because they always say glancing blow, they leave it open to, they can either say, oh, well, it missed, or oh, yeah, it hit, because they're fucking just winging it. And there are those of us that have clued on, man, and we are not going to continue to play into this circus anymore, okay? So forget that shit when we're seeing all this. So, yeah, it looks like we're getting, um, now it looks like we're in the process of getting another flare. Could be an M. Still going. So, yeah, just had this um, X, guys. And look at it, how long it took to come back down. Hmm? This is lots of energy being put out here. Believe me. We're going to feel this one. Okay, we already did. Okay, we're already feeling it. The whole ring of fire is feeling it. Water disturbances around the whole ring of fire are being measured. This is why the buoys are moving. Now, it could be from the tsunami that we had yesterday with this 8.2, which we did have a tsunami. 
um, it was recorded to have hit some of the coastlines. And so there could be just because there is a difference in water levels that this is why the ring of fire is suddenly going off. However, it could be because there are just continued events. We are just seeing these waves continue. So I will put this animation underneath the video and you can pretty much check out what happens to the water and the wave as it moves across the ocean. Now where I am over here, it's really actually quite cool because we've got the Great Barrier Reef and look it just um, disperses all of this wave. So that's good to know if we have a like a 10 pointer or a 12 pointer <laughs> or you know the whole of the country shift under the ocean or something. Who the hell knows? But anyway glad to see that yeah I do have some protection there but if you don't like if you're living on the coastlines of uh, uh, New Zealand yeah mm, that doesn't look too good there. And uh, over around here as well with Hawaii and up the coastline around here on the west coast. So, as I said, I'll put it underneath. Uh, yeah, we've had this uh, 7.6 and it just keeps going and going and going. This area down around here is just not settling down. And guys, we've still got the 11th of April coming and we've also got the 15th of April coming. And when you look at planetary alignments, and, you know, even bigger channels, if you want to follow, you know, the larger channels uh, that follow the solar stuff and the earthquakes, uh, often look at the planetary alignments. So, you know, it's not like this is something that's unusual and it can't be a pattern that is seen. Uh, there are many scientists and astrophysicists that have written papers on the correlation between even comets and their um, effects as they move into the solar system. Um, and how certain alignments with them cause large tectonic shifts. And so we have Mars coming to its closest approach to the planet on the 15th of April. And we also have a uh, lunar eclipse on the 15th of April as well. And it's going to be a blood moon. And so that's quite significant as far as I'm concerned that we have Mars coming in so close and also Mars is in Aries on the 15th and Aries is the planet of war and Mars is war so anyway I'm just thinking you know if you're going to have some kind of event for your little occult sick ritualistic shit that you're going to play out on the flock then it does make sense that you would have it around a time where the Upper influences are in your favour. And I haven't really seen a lot of psyop about the 15th, which is always a good clue to maybe something is about to occur on the 15th. Because normally they psyop dates that normally never eventuate to anything. Anyway, as you guys know, I don't like looking to dates either because, um, you know, you just have these expectations and sometimes they don't even play out in a way that you had even imagined it would. So I just like looking at these ongoing events that seem to be culminating and intensifying. And as I said, you know, these energy hits, guys. And you can see, even with this animation, you can just imagine this amount of energy, just not only through water, but just on other causal levels being pushed out because this is what happens. It happens on all levels. Um, and being felt. So, I mean, just imagine that continuing and continuing and continuing. So, we are feeling energy coming up through the planet and she is releasing it and now we're feeling it physically. So, um, as I said though, that plays out on all the causal levels. So, heads up guys, heads up. I will put all the links underneath and as always, peace out.